Welcome to an, another Mutant Monday. Today we have April. She's not a mutant, at least not in this one. It's Teenage Mutant Turtles Mutant Interest Story featuring Ultimate April O'Neil by NECA, of course. So we have the turtles watching uh, April as the cover art. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo on the top. Uh, VHS style packaging, of course. So we have the Teenage Mutant Turtles logo, Mutant and Interest Story, Volume 11. And we have some product shots here on the back, as well as uh, a bio, which I'm not going to read. We all know who April O'Neil is. Uh, same as on the reverse side on the side, and on the bottom we have some uh, credits. Uh, inside flap, product shot. And then right here, that face looks different than that face. I, I don't know, might be the lighting, might be the camera angle. But, uh, and then we can see the figure on the inside. So let's get to opening this up. Now this is my second April in this line. I did, did not have the original one. I had the, uh, the Catwoman of Channel 6. So this is going to be all new to me. Box is empty. We have a... Uh, that looks really crisp. Uh, the in inner... Sleeve is a shot from the... This is actually just a shot from the... The, uh, the Cityscape. The NECA made the, the cartoon cityscape. Hopefully we get a re-release of that because that uh, was hard to find. So we have lots of accessories. This is an Ultimate April, uh, Ultimate Edition. So uh, let's get started. Are these Clifton or Scraps? These are... Hands, hands, and more hands. Uh, as a child, the only April and Mill figure I had was the Mage Mutant Turtle 3 figure. So here we have her. Uh, wow. Well, it, 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 it's amazing how things used to work. Uh, this is her recording device, her, her uh, microphone and recording device. She recorded to a uh, tape. Such things. And you might see a fly flying around here. I haven't been able to get it out. So here's an altered head. April blindfolded. There's April's camera. And then a second microphone that is just wireless. Oops. Where did that go? There it is. Second channel six microphone wireless. Then she has so many hands. Um, such hands as the thumbs up hand. The pointing hand. The Peace hand. Um, the peace hand on the other side. The thumbs up. She has two sets. Of, she has a set of thumbs up hands. Okay, and a set of pointing hands. Okay. Um, and she has a half open, relaxed hand. And uh, straight hands. I, I don't know what else to call them, the straight. And of course she comes with her closed fists. They're not closed fists. She, actually, she doesn't even come with a pair of closed fists. That's, a, that's pretty interesting. Uh, she has a pair of holding fists on. Let's get to this side. This will be the more interesting side. Oh, missed a strap. There we go. 
All right. So this is a plant. This is, I think, the same plant that uh, poisoned her, if I recall. We got one of those before. Of course, how what would April be without her turtle com? Does this open? That is does have a peg. Oh, there we go. The turtle com does open. Look at that. Turtle compact. That's pretty cool. It's so tiny. All right. Next, we have a pizza monster. Another pizza, baby pizza monster. And then we have a. Oh, I remember the episode of this. It's a Venus flytrap, but it's some kind of mutant or alien. And then we have the statue. We have a copy of the hare and the tortoise. I believe this is a picture of her grandmother. alternate head now we see we have a this is like a smiling with her mouth open we can see teeth let's get a little more light on there to focus that yep smiling with her teeth that's probably why that one in the photo looked different than that one that's probably the foot uh the head they were using and then we have this device right down here This here is to clamp her in. As you see, it is April shaped hole. <laughs> yeah, we have April right here. But let's get her out. Let's be careful not to cut her. And Mr. Pointy came out. I'm actually very All right, uh, some technical difficulties there for a second. All right, I'm actually very uh, fearful of breaking her because she has very small limbs. Um, bottom one was cut. Let's go to the back and cut her. Ties there. There. And there, and she's out. All right. So here she is. I've seen complaints that she has a very long neck. Um, it doesn't seem that bad. It really doesn't. Um, although, that's about the movement we got on the neck. I don't know what's going on there. I feel like there's some resistance on mine when I'm, I'm moving it. Arm does move up, down. Does it do a full rotation? Uh, we're not going to force it. It is a double jointed elbow. Small joint there. Which one's more I'm not going to force. You can check out this side here. She has a joint in, in the uh, sleeve, and she has a joint on her uh, there we go. The joint on her uh, forearm. Which does have paint coming off it right away. So yeah, be careful. And don't expect your paint to last. 
on the joints. Wrist movement, of course. Joints on the wrist. Uh, but you can kick so far forward, so far back. Double jointed knee. Ankle tilts. Rocker. Yeah, a little bit of rocker. Paint's coming off right there already. Does she stand on her own? Oh, and she does have an ab crunch and swivel. Nice detailing, of course, is is NECA. Detailing is great. And stand. Stand, April. Stand. And she does stand on her own. There. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Let's try it one more time. All right, she is standing. There she is. All right, um, we'll end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you're not missing on any more Mutant Mondays, any more uh, unboxings. And as always, once again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.